my dear good morning i don't know if it is morning dear whichever is fine have you changed your mind about the divorce i was about doing that but you are giving me reason to think otherwise ah what did i do lovelyn told me that you have been harassing she and her brother i will take that silence as yes if you really want me to change my mind make sure you stay clear of those kids i will not call to warn you next time you will just see my lawyers bye good morning morning this one that you greet me this morning i hope it's not about money issue please i'm begging you i know we're not in good terms but this is not about me it's about the kids they have been running temperatures since about three days ago and they are not responding to treatment i need money to take them to the hospital ah that is serious so but what do we do now i don't have money yo. Or oh, let's do it this way. Go and borrow the money from anybody. I will pay. Ah, what you are doing to me is not fair. You know these kids are not mine alone. They are yours too. I have told you my own. And that is all I can do. This thing you are doing, God will judge you between you and me. Wait till then. In the meantime, go look for how to take care of the children. I don't blame you. Chris, why do you let this happen to you? Who do I run to now? You can call your sister. After all, she is still spending my wife's money. Why are you so shameless? Hello, Blessing. Hi, sis. How are you doing? I hope I didn't wake you up. Not at all. You don't call me this late. What's the problem? Please, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I need your help again. What is it? It's the twins. They are sick. I don't know who to run to and I don't have money to take them to the hospital. Jesus. And you are just calling me. Okay, let me put some call across. Please don't call lovely. You are very funny. Please tell me what is more important to you. Your ego or your kid's health? My kid's health. I thought as much. I will hang up now and see what I can get for you. Thank you so much. Bye. Pixie, there is a problem. What is the problem? It is Grace again. Please, I don't want to have anything to do with her again. Pixie, please. I know she doesn't worth all the troubles, but we can't just abandon her. Mommy will not be happy about that if she was alive. What is the problem with her this time? The kids have been sick and she has been unable to get them the treatment they need because she doesn't have money. And Mr. Martin is refusing to do anything about the issue. That is too bad. But you know she won't accept any help from me. Pixies, I know if you want to help her, you will find the way. Please do something, not for her sake, but for the kids. Okay, I will do something about it. Thank you, sis. I will call you later. I'll be expecting your call then. Hello, Emma. Big sis, good afternoon. How are you doing? How was work today? I'm doing fine. And work is fine too. How is studies too? I hope you are not missing your lecture appointment. I'm not too. I need your help. What is it? Grace has a little problem. Why does that bother you? It's the key. They are sick. Oh, I didn't know. She called Blessing for help and Blessing called me. But you know Grace will not take help from me. Then the situation is not serious. You don't have to help. No, let's not do it that way. So what do you want to do? I want to send you some money so that you will send it to her. You know that she won't mind you helping her. She is lucky to have an elder sister like you. Because left to me, she will be on her own. I don't have a choice. You should get the alert soon. I sent you 20000 to give her. I will transfer it to her once I get the alert. I hope it doesn't delay because the next day is kind of slow. Don't worry, I will make sure I deliver it once I get the alert. <laughs> So this is 
is how I will end up. I thought I was a smart one. Now look at me. I've been scammed of everything I ever worked for. I left someone who cherished me and ended up with Jezebel. Ah, the scammer has been scammed. Despite how serious I was with her, she knew I actually did love her. I never knew she was waiting for an opportunity to destroy me. Saga, you have been a fool. Good morning. How was work yesterday? It was really stressful. I thought as much because you didn't even notice I was home. You just went straight to bed. I knew you were home when I had the video playing, but I didn't have the strength to say hi. I barely stayed awake in the car on my way home. Thank God you didn't sleep off before you would just wake up and find yourself in another place. Ha, ah, that should not be fun. I was planning to call you today initially. Any better? Guess who I saw today? Grace. No. Oh yeah, tell me. You won't believe it. Sarah came to my office today. Sa what? What did he come to do or what does he want? Which one do you want me to answer now? Anyone. He came to look for a job as a cleaner. You need to see how bad life dealt with him. Yes! That fool finally got what he deserved. At first, I couldn't really recognize him because he looks like the shadow of himself. That is scammer at work. I hope you are not even considering giving him the job, oh. I know better than to do that. Better. Now he will have a full dose of his own bitter medicine. <laughs> Please, I really need this job. I don't have any job to offer you. Please, if you don't give me this job, my life would be over. And why should I care about your life? Did you really care about me when you were doing all those things to me? Give me reasons why I should be concerned about you. I know I have hurt you. I know I was cool to you, but please forgive me. My life will be officially over if you choose not to help me. I have lost everything that I have. Please don't take away my chance of survival too. Okay, okay, okay. I have had you. Stand up and sit. I don't want to act like you, so I will see what I can do about it. Thank you very much. I promise to do any work you ask me to do. You better do. Resume tomorrow by 8 o'clock a.m. The receptionist will brief you about your duty. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm fine, thank you. How is the family? That is great news. Yes, ma. That is why I actually called. I was told there is an update on the number of choir ropes. Okay. We should make the female rope 250 instead of the initial 180. Alright, ma. What about the male rope? Okay. We should make it 190. No, ma. That wouldn't be a problem. Ma, I'm not charging you high. Okay, the best offer I can give you is 4-5 each for the female's room and 4,000 each for the male's room. Alright, I will send you the total and I will count the tests. Thank you for patronizing us again. The pleasure is ours. I'm sorry for calling you this late. I work with Love Empire Empire. Ma, I just felt I should let you know that my boss is trying to cheat you. The ropes you are ordering for actually cost the same price to produce for both sexes. That is not all, ma. Each rope costs 1,200. I don't know why she is so untrustful. Ma, if you won't mind, I can do the job for you at just 1,500. Alright, ma. I will give you time to think about it. My name is Saga. Please don't tell her I called you. Thank you, ma. Yes, I hope to hear from you soon. Bye. Good morning, ma. I was just about to call you. I'm sorry, ma. I don't truly really understand. Why will I ever do that? You mean one of my staffs called you and told you all that? Okay, ma. I sent you some pictures of the materials we are to use and the quotation from the suppliers. I was actually wanting to inform you 
that the price of things has skyrocketed and the agreed price would not be possible anymore. Ma, if I wanted to cheat you, I wouldn't be sending you quotation from my suppliers. In fact, you can take it to other suppliers to confirm for yourself. I don't know why that person would ever do or say what they said. I really appreciate your understanding, Ma. Please, Ma, I would like you to send me the number that called you. No, Ma, that is more than enough. I will be able to know that person once I have the number. Thank you, Ma. All right, bye. So after all I have done for you, this is how you choose to repay me. And to think I refuse to listen to my brother's advice just to help you get your miserable life back. It is true what they say, no matter how you clean and dress up a pig, it will only show appreciation by dancing in the mud. You are actually not different from the pig. So I'm not going to repeat myself. I want you out of my office right now. And I don't want to ever see you around this building. If I do, you will regret ever having anything to do with me. This is not a threat, it's a promise. I will leave your God forsaking office. And you can keep your job, but I promise you will regret firing me. You better watch your back at all times. <laughs>